What's going on, everybody? Al here. Street Sense. Back by popular demand, Alexandria. How's hey. everything, Alexandria? Good. Everything's good. Thank you. Everything is good? Mm -hmm. Here we go. So. Okay. Should I air it out like this? She's not rubbing it in. Not rubbing it in. She learned from Street Sense. Okay, so. Okay. What do you get out of that fragrance? It's very like. Very clean, kind of like a very sexy, kind of like a powdery smell, okay. like sort of like a sexy powder. Yeah. Okay. I don't get that like alcohol hit. I get like a like a cleaner, like a smoother, like so you, more powder based sort of. Like. Okay, so you don't get the alcohol. A lot of fragrances you put them yeah, on. Yeah, that's that's usually my biggest beef is that the, it's too alcoholic. Okay. You know? and and you're not getting too, that. No, not okay. at all. Sexy powder. Yeah, very okay. sexy. It smells very clean. Very okay. Nice. Would you buy this? Would you wear this, or would you like your boyfriend to wear this? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. It smells great. It smells great. It okay. Smells so good. Actually. <laughs> all right. What's going on, everybody? Al here. Street sense. Actually, it's gonna be a review. Something new. I'm gonna do on Street Sense. It's gonna be a female fragrance for women from the Creed Boutique Aqua Fiorentina Beyond Or. I'm gonna have the man himself talk about this fragrance, actually review this fragrance yes. for all of you, Lewis. Alan, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Thank you for having me. You know I love being here. It's like my second home. I'm here a lot, and I just love the fact that you let me film in here. We're gonna keep it going. I'm gonna keep the videos going. You know I'm not gonna stop. Street sets, reviews, top tens, filming at the Free Boutique, every opportunity I have. You know, just a lot of videos for all you out there. And hopefully they're entertaining. I don't want anybody to be bored. And I know the Free Boutique videos are special. A lot of people love them. I get a lot of messages, a lot of inbox messages for people telling me to come back here. And they love you too. Thank you, guys. We love you. Thank you. I mean, I so many messages that. about how great a, a great guy Lewis is. On my channel, so that's great to hear. That. Great to hear, guys. And you know, don't be afraid to call if you want to know a little bit more about a fragrance specifically, an ingredient, or something you may read about and you're kind of curious about. I can tell you the description over the phone or email me. It's no problem at all. Or if you live in the area, just stop in. Just stop, stop by. And say hello. Louis, he's a great guy. When you walk in, he'll make you feel like you're at home. Because you know, some stores, you walk in there like high-class stores, like we. You walk in and they treat you like you know, they look at you funny and they treat you like you know, you're not going to buy anything. Lewis is not like that. You come in here, you're not going to buy anything. You, you want to smell something, he'll help you to 100% he'll help you. you know? He'll make you feel comfortable. Well, Alan, I think you know, uh, fragrance is you know, very personal. Yes. And you know, we're talking about people and emotions, and we're in the people business. You know, we're, we're not out to push a lot of fragrance. We're out to make friends, you know, make people smell good one at a time. <laughs> One other time. Good so if you're in New York, come by, see Lewis, see Bobby. Come come and by. Yeah. These guys will treat you really good. They'll make you feel comfortable, and hopefully you'll buy a cream. You know what I'm saying? You or, have to buy a cream. Or at, at least, least one. You'll buy one. You have to have one in your collection. Let me help you pick the one. <laughs> <laughs> or call. The number here is 212-439-7777. Give them a call, say hi. Tell them Al sent you. Tell them you saw Lewis on Street Sense. Does anybody call and say, Oh my God, all the time. Really? All the time. Right. That's awesome. People from DC, California, Texas, Florida. They're like, you know, this is so and so. You're famous. Oh, you're from Street Sense. And yeah. Al. So, yeah, guys, we love that. You know, that's awesome. You know, we'd love to meet you if you're in the New York area, really. Like, you know, make a, make a point. Stop by. Please definitely, do. definitely. If you're visiting New York or you live in New York, stop in. See Lewis, see Bonnie, see James. Tell them Al sent you. <laughs> And there you have that part. Now let's get into the review. Absolutely. Let's get into let's the talk about this fragrance right here. This is something new for me. A review on a female fragrance. I'm gonna do that from time to time. I got a lot of people asking me when I'm gonna uh, start talking about female fragrances. The time is now. And I want you to help us out here and let us know about this fragrance. Break it down for us. Well you know what? I love to lead the way in these fragrances. And you know now we have a lot of fragrances for ladies. That is you know, true, that is true. We do have a lot of fragrances for ladies, but you know what, since this is one of the newest ones, that's why I want to talk about this. We'll start with Aqua Fiorentina the Encore. And Aqua Fiorentina the Encore, it's, I'm very excited about this fragrance because it's, it's very contemporary, it fits today's woman, it's easy to wear, and it's just lovely. It's, um, it's a fruity floral, it starts off with bergamot, it also has um, green, greenish plums, which are dessert plums, nice. and Renaissance Rose white carnations and a little bit of sandalwood. And sandalwood, 
I mean, it's not a wood that smells like fire or a tree. It's very creamy and very soft and just very comfortable to wear. So, you know, ladies out there, you know, anything with sandalwood, you know, it has that delicious factor. They just want to be, you know, <laughs> it's just, you know, yeah. drooling. Yeah. You know, I think, you know, the women that smells edible is great. And to me, you know, um, I like women of, uh, excuse me, I like fragrances of women that smell either floral or savory. Okay. I mean, that's, but that's, that's my, like, that's your take, yes. And I think Aqua Fiorentina kind of fits that profile. You know, it's very delicious from the dessert fruits. Yeah, so it's you fruity, know? floral. Fruity, floral. Then you have the Renaissance Rose. Uh -huh. You have the white carnation. Uh -huh. you know, so you have that beautiful blend. And I think this one has a, a pretty wide audience. You know, so it fits a lot of skin types. So ladies out there, or guys, if you want to get a really nice fragrance for your lady, Aqua Fiorentina the Encore is really the one to have. And the bottle is packaged. Really nice bottle. Look at that bottle. Look how nice that is. Very nice. It has the... Renaissance roses yeah, all around the rim. All around the rim. The top has a nice like, purplish pink. Yeah. This is one of the ones that um, Erwin Creed actually worked on with his father. You know, so uh, we're very excited about that. It's just a lovely fragrance. And you can tell, I mean, it's very modern. Even in comparison to a couple of the... Um, it's one of the classic ones, like Florissimo. I mean, this is very modern. 2012. Yes. Very, really nice presentation. I mean, the Creed bottles, to me, are really nice. And this, I think, is just, I mean, on a shelf, that would look nice. Some artwork, kind of, yeah. you know? Very, very the decoration classic. piece. Well, you know, that's, that's the beauty of having uh, a company that's driven by artistic form. Yes. You know, that's, that's, that's the beauty about, you know, working for a house that's, that's family-owned, basically. It's yeah. a family-owned brand. You know, it's, they're not hiring all these outside companies. You know, you have one person just, you know, creating. And that's, that's the beautiful part. What's going on everybody? Al here. Street Sense. Back with Prada Luna Rosa. I'm on the streets with... Samantha Burns. Samantha Burns, how are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm good. I want to thank you for stopping and being on Street Sense. My pleasure. I want to ask you, are you into fragrances? Love them. You love them? Wouldn't you... be without them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, you wouldn't be without them. Great answer. Do you have a collection? Do you have any fragrances? Can you share with us what you have, if you have any? I have my favorites. Okay. I usually wear one for a while and then it runs out and then I go on to a new one. So Valentino's a real good favorite of mine right now. Valentino. And Chanel No. 5 is always Chanel, a Chanel No. 5. Okay. All right. Valentino, Chanel No. 5. In, into fragrances, yeah. which is great. And my husband too, so we kind of fight a little bit. <laughs> Does your husband have a collection? Yes. He likes Hermes. He has a little Calvin Klein, the classic. You know? All right. Hermes, Calvin Klein. All right. We stopped the right person. <laughs> All right, so you're into fragrances. It seems like you're very into fragrances, which is a great thing. I'm going to have you smell a fragrance from the house of Prada. You heard of Prada? Mm -hmm, of course. Who hasn't heard of Prada? Okay, this is Prada Luna Rosa. It's a new release from Prada for men. I'm going to have you smell it and let us know what you think. All right? So, would you mind putting a little on or sure. spray a little on? Here we go. Airing it out. She's not rubbing it in. You don't want to be fragrances, do no, you? Never. Never, okay. Bright person. Actually, I would wear that. You wear that? Yeah, I would wear that. Okay. But it's a nice, it's a, a daily fragrance, something for, not for nighttime, it's not too musky. It's like a sporty kind of scent? Very sporty. Springy. Okay. Something with a little bit of life to it. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. Would you buy this for your husband or for yourself or for both of you guys? Both of us. I would fight for it in the bathroom too. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're saying you would wear that? And you would Definitely. like you would like for your husband to smell like this. Yeah, also. that's why I like Calvin Klein fragrances because they can be unisex sometimes. That definitely is a unisex fragrance. Okay. I like the bottle; it's very masculine. Yeah, the bottle has a unique look to it. It's t it's after a sailboat. Try to have what a sailboat. The, what is the base on that? Luna Rosa opens up. You get a little bit of citrus. You get some mint. Oh, citrus. You get mint and lavender. The main player. The lavender. That's lavender. making me love it. Yeah. You like lavender? Love lavender. So you get the citrus, a little bit of. Uh, Mint and lavender. Lavender is the, the, the main focus of this That's fragrance. A great combination, yeah. And then when you get into the heart, you get a little bit of soapiness, like the soap fresh out the shower, and it dries down with musk. Actually, that would be great as a, as a body gel and soap too. They came out with it. it. They have it, they, they do have it. So you're saying you like it? You would, yes. Would like you buy that. this? Yes, I would. You would buy this? Definitely. And this fragrance goes from anywhere from 60 to $80. That's, I'm sure that's in your price it's range. Market price. Uh, her husband has Hermes, so this is definitely <laughs> <laughs> and Chanel number no. five. Yeah, that's so right. So you don't mind spending on fragrances. No. Okay. Well, it depends on your mood. I mean, you wake up in the morning and you say, "How do I feel today?" Oh, I feel like Valentino. Or I feel like Chanel number no. five. Let's have a look. I respect that. 
Let me ask you a question. What would you give us? One out of ten. Based off what this you fragrance, smell. one out of ten. Luna Rosa, off what you smell, what, how I described it to you. I love it. It really is a nice fragrance. There's nothing there that I dislike about it. I would give it a nine, really. A nine. And yeah, you're almost saying that a from ten. The heart. Because I just don't like giving tens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. So, interlude, man. Okay. There you go. Here we go. Let's go. It's gonna be a olfactive journey here. <laughs> Uh, right off the bat, I really like this one. Okay. Why? Because it doesn't smell synthetic. Um, <laughs> okay. I don't get the alcohol in here. I get, you know, pure quality. Yeah, Amouage, just let you know, they use only the best ingredients. Yeah, you could definitely tell. You could tell off the bat, even on paper. Not, it's not even on skin. You know, usually you have to go like this in yeah. order to get that whiff, but this one you can smell it right away and it's beautiful. Um, what do I smell in here? I smell so many things. You know, the name itself, um, I could also call it by another name, intriguing, okay. because it is kind of intriguing. There's the, the smokiness. You get the smokiness, right? I get a smokiness, but you know, I get so many things in the background, like, um, I don't know how to say it, like maybe some amber back there. Um, something like an incense, but you know, no woodsy in this one, um, but smoky incense. But then it's also light at the same time with okay. like maybe some like kind of a fruit back there uh, just to break it up and make okay. it a little bit more sweet. I really like this one. It's really <laughs> good. <laughs> so you, do, you really like it? I do. Yeah. I do. And I could see certain people wearing this. Okay. It, you know, overall it could be a set for anyone, but I would say not usually for like the younger people, like, you know, the teenagers or the, you know, up and coming 20s. But, you know, somebody a little bit more sophisticated who knows what they want, uh, you know, approaching maybe, you know, 25 and up yeah. into their 30s yeah, and, 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 you know, anything above that. Yeah, I definitely can't see a teenage kid in rocking yeah. this. <laughs> um, they would have to be one sophisticated teenager. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you think of teenager, you think of fragrances like you think Calvin Klein and your mm -hmm. polos. Polo, and, definitely. Yeah. This, is, this is more of a more complex blend. Yes, yes. Right, you get the kind of well blended and you get spices in there also. Definitely spice, uh, spices. It's so smooth though. Nothing yeah. sharp hitting at Nothing you. Nothing killing you. No. no and you know, the scents, in so, like we mentioned so many scents that are in here, but none of them are competing for each other. Yes. They all complement each other beautifully. Yes. Can you, I have some in my hand. I put about 45 minutes ago. It's just small over here. Dude. Okay, it has a different it's more, dry down. Yeah, it's more just about an hour I put this on. You, 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 can you smell a difference here? Like, I do. You get like uh, the essential oils left on that one. Okay. Uh, you know, the holidays are coming up. It, this is definitely uh, for the season. And also, this is a, a cooler weather fragrance. Mm -hmm. can, I can't see anybody wearing this. No, for the summer, I think it's too spicy. Yeah. I want to say, but you choke for, someone out. for the winter and the cold, crisp weather, this is really nice. Awesome. What would you give us one out of ten? One out of ten. Uh, I would give it a ten. Really? Honest to God. You're not just saying that. <laughs> no, I'm not. There you go. Daddy gives Interlude Man a ten. That's that's coming from the heart, right? That's not. Uh, that's. Uh, I know. You, I know. My you, opinion. Well, I know you from our past videos. I know you're not just. Because some people say, "Oh yeah, I give it a 10 But you're breaking the fragrance down for us, and you're into fragrances. So I know that that ten has a lot of meaning. So you see, guys, she gives it a 10. It is a well-blended fragrance. I, I have some samples of it. I've been wearing it. It lasts forever. That's another thing. This fragrance, two sprays, 14 hours plus. I mean, you put on in the morning, you come, come home at night, it's still working on your off your skin. And it projects like an animal. It's like you're projecting like way out there. And that's what you want from a cologne. You don't want to put something on then have to respray yourself nah. later on. There's no reapplication with Interlude Man. You put two sprays on, you're set. Projects like a beast. That's an animal. Beastly projection. I mean, this thing projects for six plus hours. Beautiful. I know some fragrances, you put them on, and after one hour, it's, it's gone. Not even close to the it just evaporates. Quality in here, you get everything. You get projection, longevity, quality, smells amazing. What more could you ask for? Black Afghano. Hear me out. It's dark mysterious, almost spooky, elusive, okay? It's a fragrance that's hard to describe. Almost has a Halloween vibe working for it, okay? Check this out. 
me, you, and that school teacher that you've had on your show a few times, Helenia, I bet she could describe it. Dell, I'm busy right now. It won't work anyway. What? It's a very good idea. Maybe, but I'm doing my own thing right now. Look, man, I gotta go. Al, I'm dying. What? Well, Doc says maybe a couple of days before I go to that big fragrance boutique in the sky. Okay, I'll bite. What are you dying of? Um, look, it really don't matter. If you don't do this for me, when I die, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna haunt your ass. I'm gonna come to your house every night and knock all your little cologne bottles over. How about that? Die then. Bye, Del. It's happening. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my goodness. You couldn't grant a dying man his last wish. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. What's going on everybody? Al here. Street Sense. I made it happen. I got Helenia back on Street Sense. What's hey everybody, going on, Helenia. How you doing? I'm doing great. You all know Helenia. You have to know her. If you don't know her, she starred in multiple videos. How many videos has it been now? Two, I think it's two or three. Is it two or three? Three. 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 Let's recap here. You did Creed Royal Oud. Oh yes. Creed Original Vetiver. Yes. And. Derry Mugler, Pure Leather. Yes, so it's three, it's three. So this is the three, she's back for the fourth time by popular demand, let me tell you. Thank you. A lot of people, I keep saying this, I'm gonna say it again, they love you. Okay, okay, I love Street Sense. <laughs> she's a big supporter of Street Sense, and I appreciate that. So, Dill, you don't have to haunt me, I made this happen. <laughs> Helena's here to do a fragrance. This is fragrance is a mysterious fragrance. It's from Nasumato, and it's Black Afghanum. Take a look, and I ask you, did you ever hear of Black Afghano? No. Or Nasimato at all? Never, never. Okay, so this is a blind smell for you. Okay. I want to get the expert nose of yours on this fragrance. Okay. Let everybody know what you think of it. Let it uh, get a female's perspective on Black Afghano. Okay. okay. All right? So a lot of people want me to do this. They want to see what a female thinks of this fragrance. So take a look at the bottle, look at the juice. Yeah, because it actually is not, it's, it's a, it's, it's, what color is that? Is it black or is yeah. it like brown? It's is like, it like, actually like, like wood, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be like, I, it, I think black when I, when I okay. see it, but it's kind of like a wine looking, yeah. right? It looks like a bark, like very earth tone. Yeah, I can see that, like a woody color. Okay. And the cap has a nice wooden black cap. Yeah, the, cap, the bottle's actually very nice, very, very elegant, nice. yeah, very, uh, very like, Art Deco kind of exactly. type of It, it kind of looks simple, but it has an Art Deco look to it. Totally, totally. Definitely like a nice decorative, decorative piece. Okay. So, we looked at the bottle, presentation. Now is the most important part. Okay. I'm going to have you smell it. Okay. Do you mind putting this on? Not at all. Okay, this is categorized as a unisex fragrance. Here we go. Highly anticipated black up candle. You want it here or here? Whichever. Let's put it here. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to... Do your thing. Yeah. She's not rubbing it in. She's no, a... no, no rub. By the way, Street Sense All Star. I'm gonna do Street <laughs> Sense All Stars. You're definitely a Street Sense All Star. Oh, <laughs> okay, so let it do its thing. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I'm smelling. Oh, I'm smelling. I'm smelling like anise. I'm smelling. Okay, a yeah. little ginger. I'm smelling. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's, it's very cool. It's very warm going down. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. So you say anise, ginger, it's warm. I smell ginger. I smell. Um, I smell. I, I smell a little cin cinnamon. It has like a licorice smell to it, but it's definitely a cool. 
type of scent. This is a now going into fall winter type of scent. Oh, this definitely. is something you definitely want to wear when it's cool outside. Definitely, definitely. It, I agree. As I'm smelling it and it's hitting the back of my throat, it's I've never smelled anything like this. I can't even identify. Oh, this smells beautiful. This is gorgeous. Okay. Uh, I really like this. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's you know, it's got a very uh a very like it's very exotic. It's something okay. that that I I don't recognize, but I smell all these undertones, and it makes me want to smell more. Yeah. It makes me want to put a little you bit. See more what's on. gonna hit you? Like it hits you in different angles. It totally hits yeah. you in different angles, and as you inhale it, oh, this smells beautiful. This is so nice. This <laughs> is very, very female friendly because okay. I feel like if I wear this and I walk past somebody and they smell it, they, it's, they're gonna remember me. It's gonna okay. have that essence. It's gonna leave that scent as I walk by. This is actually beautiful. That's what I was gonna ask you, would you wear this? Oh, I would totally wear this, okay. and I'd wear this now. Okay. This is not something I would wear in the summertime. Yeah, or the def spring. definitely a cool, but it's a cold cool, weather fragrance. It's, it's, it's very, like, very Halloween-ish, it's very now, it's... Definitely, you, you said it oh, perfect, yes. Halloween. This is gonna oh. be my scent of the day for Halloween. Oh, totally, this I can is see gorgeous. this being a Halloween scent. Now, for me, this fragrance, I categorize this as mysterious. Oh, it's very, it is, you it's know, it mysterious. is mysterious. It's, it's, it's something where you're going to smell it and you're going to be like, what is that? Where did you get that from? Yeah. What am I smelling? Because you don't recognize it. But I smell the cinnamon. I smell the ginger. I smell, I smell the licorice. I smell, it's like, it's cool, it's warm, it's hot, it's going down. I love this. This is beautiful. It totally goes with the bottle. Oh, because yeah. Because it's something that is very unique. It's very... It's very artsy. I love that. Oh, this is great. Yeah, this definitely is like a master work, like a masterpiece. Oh, totally. This is for me. It's a masterpiece. I'm saying masterpiece. Some people might not agree with me, but to my nose, this is a masterpiece. This is it's beautiful. It smells wonderful on me. I didn't expect it to smell this good. By on looking me. at the bottle, bottle yeah. because it looks a little masculine. Yeah. But ladies, this is for us also. Ladies, this is great. Now let me ask you: Would you want your husband to smell like this? Oh, I, I totally would want it to smell like this, but I know this type of scent is not going to smell like this on him. It's going to have a, true. it's going to have a totally different smell on him. That's I true. feel like it, 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 depending on what your body scent is like, depending on what your, your oils or your aura is in, in your skin, is what's going to come out. This is beautiful. It's dark. It's cool. The undertone is like cinnamon, licorice. It's beautiful. It has like these things. These notes are about to come out, <laughs> come and hit you. It's not, it's, it's not done yet. No, and it's, each time I smell it, I feel like I'm smelling something else. Yeah, it's like a, a living thing getting ready to attack. It's like organic. Yeah. It's, oh, this is beautiful, Al. Oh, I love this. I love this. <laughs> and I love the bottle. I love the bottle the way the bottle looks, the way the top is. I love it. I love the fact that it's a different color, and when you spray it on, it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a 10. <laughs> I know you didn't ask me yet, but yeah, this is a 10. I was going to say one out of 10, but... This is a 10. This is a 10. Well, you appreciate perfumery, oh. you know? I, she, oh. uh, Helenia is into fragrances, so it's not even like, uh, you know, you have fragrances and you know like how oh. fragrances take their course. It's, it's an accessory. Someone told it's me definitely. that it's, it's an accessory. You put it on like you do your jewelry, like you put on your jacket going to work. Exactly. This is beautiful, Al. This is... You're this not just, you're not, I mean, you're obviously not just saying this because I, I could feel your reaction is... 100%. Oh god, and as it's as it's wearing as it's lingering on my arm right here, it's changing. Yeah. It's like it's, it's like a creature it's, getting it's, 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 it's totally it's totally it's totally like a creature. <laughs> oh god, but it's different beautiful. Things. You know, I wear this fragrance plenty of times, right? And every time I wear it, I feel like something different is it smells different every time. What's going on everybody? Al here. Street Sense. I'm back. Today I have someone, a special guest star. You've seen him in the past. He's coming now. He's about to pull up. I see his car. I'm trying to tell him to come. Take a look. Back up a little bit. Back up. In the Hummer. Special guest star. You guys seen him in the past. What am I, a camera gun? There he is. Benny from the Bronx. Back once again. You getting this? Here he is. Nice car. How are you, Mr. Al? How's everything? I got a driver now. We need room for the envelope. <laughs> he has a driver and everything. Nice car. Last time. How's business? I got my envelope upstairs. <laughs> Coming to get the envelope. What are we filming today? Today I just want to have you on Street Sense. I have a fragrance. We'll talk about a fragrance. I Some want to say hi. Both them up. Come Some on. samples. I got to pay the douche. How's everything with you? How's... Very good. Very good. The storm was very bad. Yeah? Did you take care of your business? Yeah. No water, thank you. Yeah, but everything is good though, right? Everything is 
Samples for Benny from the Bronx. Benny Blanco from the Bronx, right? Come on, you got more. <laughs> Here, I got a proof. Does this smell? I want to have you smell this. Right. Let's have Benny smell Prada I Amber. I got to take care of the driver. <laughs> Anymore? Prada Amber, I have some on my bag. Hey, this guy paid last week. Hey, <laughs> Prada Amber Pour Home Intense. You ever had a Prada? No. You never had a Prada? Oh, Prada Pocketbooks. Yeah. They got cologne yeah. now. Yeah, they have cologne for men. This is a dark fragrance. Here, this is how you smell this now. Ready? Oh, <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> free again. I love the free cologne. <laughs> so what? Before we talk about their fragrance, I want to know what's going on in your life. Anything you can share with us, the fragrance community, any? Looking to buy some more property. You know. Buying property? Yeah, I spent some cash. <laughs> How's everything in the Bronx? Oh, that looks like. <laughs> what do you get out of that? Aromatic. Aromatic, would you wear that? Nice yeah. Would you buy that? How much? This goes anywhere from $50 to $80. Okay. Would you buy this? Can we have a sample? Yeah, I'll take care of you. When the camera's off, I'm gonna, I, I got you. Your driver too, and all your, your crew. Driving me all day long. <laughs> and where you guys headed now? Pick up some envelopes. Yeah. All right. I respect that. I respect that. This is Gucci Port on One. Came out in 2003. I'm gonna. It's for men. I'm gonna have you smell it and let us know what you think. Just like last time. All right. And I'll spray it on some paper. Okay. There we go. Steph, Gucci put on one. Well, I can say that for a younger demographic is not really, I guess, for them. Only because it has a stronger scent to them and it's for an older guy. So I wouldn't buy it, let's say, for like a boyfriend or a male friend. But like an uncle or a father, I'll definitely buy it for. So to sum that up, you're saying it's for an older guy? Yes, it's definitely for an older guy. More mature? More mature. Okay. I mean, unless if the younger person likes mature scents, then this would probably be perfect. Okay, so you say it's a mature scent, but what do you, like, what do you detect out of there? What do you get out I of that? I smell... What makes you there think is... it's mature? Only because there's like a hardwood smell to it. Okay. It's a little bit citrusy, but... The, the wood smell is so potent that it's really strong that it makes you think of a manly person. So that's why I, you know. You think of yeah. a hard, like a woody scent, you think of an older guy? Definitely. Okay. So it has it has a strong scent that would basically be for an older man. I don't see a lot of, I don't think a lot of young guys wear this kind of cologne or would wear it. Okay, all right. What would you give this one out of 10 based off of? I'll probably give it a seven. Only because, personally, I don't like it, you know, for a person that I would be attracted to. But for an older man, I mean, of course, like, I'm not going to be, a, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, for my dad, I'll definitely get it for him. Okay. So you, you wouldn't mind your dad wearing something like this? Uh, no. Boyfriend, no. Dad? Boyfriend, no. Dad, yes. Okay. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. I respect your, hon I respect your honesty. Thank you. And What's going on, everybody? Al here. Street Sense at the Creed Boutique with my man Rodney. Hey, Al. What's going on? How's everything, Rodney? Everything's good. Everything is good? Not bad. For all you that want to know, Rodney was in the Street Sense uh, atomizer video, right? Yeah. The flat cones, how to atomize your decan your fragrances. Yep. And we spoke about Virgin Island Water at the same time. That's right. And he's back now to talk about the Royal Exclusives. The five fragrances right here from Creed. Actually, Lewis was going to do this video, and unfortunately he's sick, so we have Rodney here. Just as good. <laughs> if you're watching, Lewis, big shout out to you. What's going on, my man? So, the Royal Exclusives. Yeah, well, the Royal Exclusives, uh, everybody's been asking you about these. Yes, a lot, of, a lot of requests for this video. And uh, just so that everybody knows, this, these are a collection of fragrances that Mr. Creed has made uh, to celebrate the 250 year anniversary of Creed. So okay. it kind of spans different generations of, of what Creed was uh, and is today. And it, it culminates everything together. So they made two cents for men, two cents for women, and one that was universal. Okay, so out of the five, two for men, two for women, and one universal. Universal, yeah. Okay, so I'll go into exactly what they are. Let's okay. do it. So uh, the first, okay, that I'm going to talk about is pure white cologne. Pure white cologne. Take a look. All right. Okay. And pure white cologne uh, is definitely one of these scents that um, is very fresh. 
to be a little bit floral and it is definitely very refined. It's for the person that has like a tailored suit, a tailored shirt. It's very, very measured. It's very fresh and it works all year round. So it's like one oh, of the, all year round. Yeah, it's not like one of these seasonal scents that you can only wear in the summer. You can wear this just about any time and it works. Okay, and this is gender for this? This is men's. Men's, okay. And that's okay, so alright. Okay, so fresh, light, remember? Very tailored and measured. The next one that I'm going to say, talk about is uh, spice and wood. Spice another, and wood. Another men's scent. Okay, and this is very, very, when you smell this, it's, it culminates the string and it's very masculine. So, what is in this is, is very, it's called Calabrian lemons. It's very fresh, but it's also very woody. Yeah. It's also a little bit of pepper, patchouli. There's also some birch wood in this. Birch wood, I get that. And also some musk. Okay. So, this is very masculine. This very also, it's tailored, but it's also very dressy. So, you want to wear this with a like, tuxedo, and you want to wear spice and wood and it'll top it off. Perfect. Exactly. Oh, real quick, what's the longevity of spice and wood? Oh my god. Something like this, you would think it's like very over the top. Very smooth. Definitely, I would say 8 hours to 10 hours easily on the skin. Keeps on going. It's really, spice and wood is really nice. I really like that. Now, not to leave the ladies out, we're gonna go into white flowers. White flowers. Also, white flowers uses uh, palma violets with Calabrian lemons. So it's very light, airy, floral. You want every woman to smell like this. It smells like a dream. Mm. So it's very nice. Yeah, very nice. So a lot of women that wear this, listen. Um, all I can say is that if you want your man to fall in love with you, this is the scent that you want. With. <laughs> White flowers. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. <laughs> the next one that I'll talk about is called Sublime Vanilla. Okay. And Sublime Vanilla incorporates all the best vanillas from around the world. So it it, it has. Uh, again, uses uh, a type of uh, bergamot, orange bergamot, which is very, very typical of the Tahitian Islands. So okay. they also use um, a vanilla bourbon from South America. I get also, that. And also uses uh, white musk at the base. White musk at the base. Yeah. Okay. I get. I, I'm smelling. I get a lot of vanilla. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen because it has vanilla in it, but. So, the vanilla scent they use it's like a bunch of different ones. They're called climbing orchids from uh, from the Tahitian Islands, that's which is a, a type of vanilla from that that region. It's nice. So it's beautiful, very soft. If she wears an Oriental scent, this is what you want to wear. It's very very soft. Gender for this, ladies. Ladies, I know I know some guys that wear this. Yeah, absolutely. Can a guy can a guy pull this off? Absolutely can. Okay. Absolutely. All right. I mean this. I mean other other brands that use vanilla. And I mean I have. I wear original Santal, and original Santal has been cinnamon and vanilla in it. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, the, this is just all vanilla. If he likes that, absolutely, you can, can pull it off. Okay. So, the next one, which is one that's considered a universal scent, is called Jardin de Malfi. And Jardin de Malfi uh, uses all the best ingredients from the Amalfi Coast. Now, you're going to smell uh, tangerines and bergamot in this. Yeah. With. Uh, Pink berries, and then at the base of the of the scent, you have a little bit of vetiver, cinnamon, and musk again. Okay, it's nice. It's like very fresh, very fresh. fresh. Absolutely. You know, I, I really so, like. I really like the So this can work for either gender. I, you know, you can wear this like very daytime, and fresh, fruity, but not something that's over the top. As you can, see, if, if you notice any of them, and if you come into the Creep Boutique and try them and test them. You'll see that they're very, very sheer. They're not. They're not anything that is like over the top. Yeah. But they wear very, very softly, and they have longevity on the skin. I mean, all of them, right? All of them. That, that's awesome. Yeah. And a lot of people are, of course, first thing, longevity, well, projection. You know, yeah. when it comes to fragrances, everybody wants to know about that. Yeah, they all do resonate. In their own shape or form, they all resonate. I mean, they. I mean, everything from pure white cologne to Jordan de Malfi. 
I mean, these are the sense that that Queen has created to celebrate the 250 year anniversary. So it is sheer luxury from head to bottom. So. And they smell the, the quality. You can smell quality. I, I, I smelled each one of them as we were going on, and this quality. them, you don't get like an alcohol or any any of that. No, some fragrances yeah. just. Pure quality at each one. They are also only available in an 8.4 ounce, so they come in a hand, hand blown poche glass. Yeah, really um, nice. So and the green family press is all around. Yeah. So it's all around. You yeah. guys can see that. Yeah. And seven, it, and seven generations, my friends. Seven generations. Seven generations. And what's the price on these? These are 640, and they are they are 250 milliliters or 8.4 ounces. Hey, I, and I, I think if you're into fragrances, I think it's worth it. Well, yeah. What, what do you think? Well, you know what? When, the, like I mentioned before, it's like you know what? For the person that has everything, it's a, a lover of Creed. If you don't have these as part of your collection, my friend, you're missing out because these are definitely something that you have to uh, you have to add to your collection just because it's it's that and, and more. And like Creed knows how to do it the right way, as always. Yes, I totally agree. And my favorites out of these two, at least two, at least five, my two favorites are Spice and Wood. I really love that Spice and Wood. Yeah, and Jordan Dimalfi. Jordan Dimalfi is amazing. Great yeah. for some, two different kinds of scents. One for well, the cool weather, they're, they're one for the warm weather. Absolutely, they're both different. And, and, and each one of them is beautiful in their own life. And definitely Spice and Wood reeks of masculinity. And yes. It definitely says, I'm a man of power and definitely style. And Jordan de Malfi is definitely more on the fresher side. And definitely, if you like something a little bit airy with a little bit of flair and style, but actually a little spice at the base, if you, if you get that, um, definitely a, a winner. A winner in my eyes. Uh, I mean, I wear Aventus uh, a so lot of the time, and. I always wear that as like my go-to if I'm going out. So Jordan? Uh, yeah. Okay. So you know. And you wear events as well. And I wear events as well. So you know. That's one of your signature scents out of Absolutely. Me. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. Uh, events has. I used to wear GIT a lot, mm -hmm. and now events just took, like took the front stage. Events as, as many of us. So yeah. I mean, uh, but if you uh, if you do wear that scent, Jordan the Mafia is one that you may. Look at in the future to to not replace your Aventus, but it's a definitely a different twist on on a Crete scent. Uh, and if you want to go luxury, this is definitely every every uh, every drop in really every bottle is weeks of luxury. In this division. So uh, because neither you know, Al, again, you know we appreciate your your coverage on this. Nobody nobody does it like you do. I appreciate so, you guys having me. And so you know we love to have you all the time. So uh, thank you so much. So, you know, thank you again for being here and letting us cover the the world too. I, I appreciate it too, you know, uh, just as much appreciation you have, I have the same right back at you. And there'll be more videos from the Queen Boutique, we'll get Lewis back, and I'm sure Ronnie will be back in the future. If there's anything you guys want to see, comment down below, let me know, maybe we'll make it happen. Uh, there's always, we can always come up with something at the Queen Boutique. Yeah. Before we end this, I want to ask one more thing. These are not limited editions, right? They're going to be on, they, they're going to be going on forever? You know, or? You know like with, with, with anything that's created, they, they're very secretive about these things. They don't tell us much. But, uh, I want to say that they're going to be around for some time, but, okay. uh, but uh, you just never know. So, if you have any questions, you know, you can always reach me here at the Boutique, or Lewis, my, my, my counterpart. And, uh, you know, Roll. Yeah, we're always at your service. 212-439-777. Seven. 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 <laughs> Four sevens. <laughs> there, you there you go. Call them up, tell me some on Street Sense, ask about these. Right. If you have any questions, yeah, Ronnie's here to answer. So is Lewis. Absolutely. Great guys. Anything else you want to say before we say goodbye? That's it. Basically. That's it. Covered everything. Yeah, until the next time. We maybe have something new in the future, so I'm sure Al will cover it. Believe me, I'll pull it. <laughs> That's not the last time you're going to see that you're going Probably, my man. Thank you so much. Man. You're welcome. I appreciate man. it. Thanks, man. No problem. Anytime. The Creed Royal Exclusives. You heard it from the man himself, Rodney. We covered everything. Great fragrances. Five different fragrances. Two for men, two for women. One for men and women. Universal or unisex, however you want to say it. You gotta check these out. They're really great fragrances. I really enjoy them. Spice of wood, real nice. Jordan Pimalfi, great for the warm weather. I enjoy that just as much. And there you have it, another episode of Street Sense at the Creed Boutique in New York City. I'll see you guys later.
rate, comment, subscribe, and don't rub it in.